Hey guys, Dan up here, and it is spring, so it is time to spring cleaning. And this is part of my garage, and it is completely packed with all kinds of stuff. And it goes back probably another, I don't know, 20 feet past what you can see right there. And all of this stuff, well most of it, that stuff over there, I'm probably keeping. But most of this stuff in here is all going away. And until I started my garage sales this week, um, you can even see past probably the spot right here. <laughs> Couldn't even walk past in there. But now I'm having garage sale and I have all of this stuff that I have out and about. And I figured I would do an update video for you guys before you start getting all of the Back to Eden Garden Tour videos going on. Um, underneath there, I used some of those pallets that I have and built a little uh, firewood, um, I don't know, shed, I guess, thing, holder, and to keep it all nice and dry. Uh, let's see, over here, uh, here's the blueberries that um, I planted before. We got some good berries going on that. And here's the peppers that we planted what, on Mother's Day. Some fresh flowers on there too. More blueberries there. Here's the red currants and a few of them are even getting red. There's a bunch on there. And cucumber plants and stuff like that. Now if we come down here to the strawberry patch. Look at my strawberries. I did nothing to these all year long. I just sat there and looked at them. And now we're getting some huge red strawberries, plenty of strawberries growing underneath in there. I've had a lot of people come to the garage sale and talk about the strawberries and how I'm growing them and take a couple starts. Oh, look at that. That's pretty right there. That's pretty red. And baby girl has been attacking at these. Every morning we come out and race out to see who can get the first strawberry of the day. Uh, here we have some leftover potato plants from last year that are still doing a good job of growing. Up here I planted those kiwi plants that I got last year that were still in the pots. And I figured I'm just going to put them here on the hillside because in nature nobody builds a trellis for wild kiwi and we're just going to see if they grow on their own. Here in the backyard you can see where I planted uh, those six raspberry plants Paul gave me uh, last year, year and a half ago, something like that. And you can see that they have spread out about 10 feet this way. And we just spread out about 10 feet this way. So now I have all of these raspberry plants in here that um, I've just been giving to people, letting them dig them out of the wood chips on this side and uh, take them home. And we're going to have so many raspberries this year. And then also, here we have the potatoes that we planted last year and they're growing here as well just like in the front maybe a little bit better than in the front last but not least here in the front again we have our first little apple starting to grow a little little apple um, just one so far that I've seen but this has like four different types of apples on it so they may come at different times oh maybe that's Another one starting there maybe, that'd be cool. And then here, we have our first cherries. And there's a couple different types of cherries on this one as well. And they're all just kind of hidden in there. So we have cherries for this year. And maybe apples for this year. And maybe kiwi for this year. Plenty of strawberries. And some onions still in that thing, which I'm going to rip apart soon. And now a nice cut grass again. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website. 
and get ready for some good Paul videos. It was a great day. I have about five hours of footage for y'all. See you next time. Bye.